I am paid. I am paid by all that is happening in the world today. And it's about time I had my say on this matter. Now, several black people have been killed. Several black people have been killed unjustly. Several times. Especially in the United States of America. At about 2014 or 15, Eric Garner was killed. They said he was illegally selling cigarettes. They killed him. He was on a chokehold, he couldn't breathe, and he died. We haven't recovered from that. The case of George Floyd happened. He was killed. He was killed, he couldn't breathe. 11 times he said he couldn't breathe and he didn't let him go. He died. See, Robert Nestor Mali, Bob Mali, was more than just a musician. He was a prophet. As a matter of fact, in an interview some years ago, his mom said that as a child, he could read people's palms. Okay? He made prophecies that came to pass. Shortly after his death, his very good friend went to his mom and told her that Bob Marley predicted his death and said I was going to die at 36. And that was what happened. Age 36, he died. Now, with all that is happening to black people all over the world, I went into my musical archives and I started playing Bob Marley's song titled War. The lyrics struck me. These were words of a prophet. Until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior is permanently discredited and abandoned. There would be war. He said it several decades ago. And what's happening today? The whites are considered superior to the blacks. It was the outcome, protests everywhere, war, there's no peace, there's unrest. Until there are no longer first class and second class citizens of any nation. Blacks are considered second class citizens of America. And that's why all this is happening. until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regards to race let everybody have the basic human rights it doesn't matter whether they're black or they're white and the protests that are happening everywhere now you see all the banners all the black people are speaking up how long shall they kill our prophets why we stand aside and look it's been a long time coming it's been a long time coming and finally black people are speaking up what we need in the world today is a disease we need color blindness we need to be color blind there's no black there's no white am i a black man do i look black i'm not black the whites, are they white? They're not white. There is no black, there is no white. We're all one people on the one God, on the one universe. We're brothers and sisters. Two-Face Edibia said, see me as your brother. Why don't you look like your sister? We need one love. Bob Marley was the perfect person to address this issue when he did. Because he was neither black nor white. White father black mother and he was somewhere in the middle and you know it's always sweet in the middle that's how we need to be mentally we should be neither black nor white mentally it's one world with brothers and sisters the killings have got to stop the killings have got to stop if we want peace in the world the killings have got to stop there are problems that affect the so-called blacks and whites. 
that we need to come together to address. There's a pandemic ongoing. That pandemic is not looking at color. It's killing both the whites and the blacks. Yeah, yeah, that's a bigger problem we need to come together to address. We don't need to be killing each other. Don't worry, something is killing us already. I can't believe that whites are still killing blacks to this day. To this day. To this day. It has got to stop, guys. It has got to stop. I'm your brother. You're my sister. We're all one. I'm out.